All right, y'all. DIY remedy here. End of day. Oops. I'm gonna do a uh, change out some recessed lights. This one here. It's gonna have a plug and play feature on it. My current lights do not have it, so I gotta cut some wires and redo some wires. Uh, the other day I actually got to do this one. I didn't do a video, so I'm gonna do a video today of these other ones. My wife is a little skeptic. I'm gonna be doing that one because I'm not elect. I don't know anything about electricity. However, I know how to follow some directions and read some instructions. So we was able to get it done pretty good, and you know she trusted me after that. So we're gonna do these other ones. All right, so here we go. So inside the box, you're gonna get your, your lights gonna be in there. Which is that right there? And then it's got this feature here, which I call like a little plug and play uh, feature. I'll screw that right there, and you just plug it on in. So. If this light ever goes out, all I gotta do is unplug it, plug a new one in, and it's good to go. Whereas what's up there currently, I gotta cut wires and all that. So this is what it looks like. It's got your wires up there, screws, we don't need those. So all you do is just match up your wires and put them in there. So pretty easy to do, not too hard. And what I did to make sure I had the wires, I took a picture of what it looked like currently the what's up there but now uh, and this one here has got the feature where you can have on there however you want to do it as far as the brightness level so if you want to do the full 6,500 6, you can or if you want to do the halogen feature on there you can Let's zoom in on it for you there we go so I don't like the halogen look I like more of the cool daylight look right there which is that one there the 65k Everybody's different. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the video of what to do. So of course you're gonna walk over here, cut your lights, and after you cut your light. All right, y'all, so actually I turned the lights back on because what you wanna do, you wanna make sure you don't have any power to your lights. So you'll come over here to your main breaker and you wanna cut it off. Oops, wrong one, wrong one. There we go. So now the lights are off in there. So now we'll go ahead and get ready to work. Alright, so when you come up here, I'm gonna take it down. And be careful because you have insulation come out. And also you gotta look for the little tabs on these. So here's one tab right here on my right hand. I'll get that tab down, and then the other tab will come on out. And then like so you have insulation come down, so make sure you put a couple towels down or whatever. Pop it open. And in here you'll see your wires. And you get your wire cutters. You're going to cut as close to the uh, plastic part as you can. So, uh, cut this one. Couple wire, that's gonna be your ground wire. And then this one here. Black wire is gonna be a hot wire. That one. Then you got your white wire. And that's gonna be a hot wire as well.
piece there's little ones you need it. So then we'll take this piece here on the back side right here, just pop that piece out. That's where your wires are going at. Yeah, match these in. razor blade or if you got wire strippers you can use that too. So I got my wife helping me out behind the scenes, y'all. So where the little hole is, you know, slide the wires through there. Your ground wire is on the yellow and green one for this particular setup. And it's gonna hook right in to that. Push it in to your clip. So that's that. And then your white wire will go into the white one here. Same way, you push it until it clicks. And then your black wire to the black. You're going to push it until it clicks. There you go. Once it clicks, and then you just got a secure connection. down a little bit so you can push this in. Now one thing about this one here, which I had the issue on that one over there, um, it doesn't click as good, lock into place as the other one did. Now that one there did pretty good. That issue on that one, because it's a relay, got two sets of wires coming out, so it could relay to this one. So that's probably why that was a bit tougher on that one to set in. But that locked in pretty good. Now what you're going to have to do is, um, many ways, I got to take off a little bit from the uh, drywall up here because it's a tad bit too narrow. So all I got to do is come in a tad bit. same size is just this little round plate right here is a little bit wider than the old setup I had was. Take these pieces, dump them in so it'll fit. Where's that cord up there? Let me take it out a tad bit more. Take the rest of the way.
the insulation that fell down. Just gonna pick it up. And fill it back up there and hope nothing else falls down, which is not to do. So really it's kind of hard to do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the power real quick and see the lights, so. There we go, now we got lights. All right y'all, DIY Raymond, and that is how you change a light bulb. Stay tuned for more videos and more how-tos. Y'all go and be blessed. Like, share, and subscribe.